Hello, Buccaneer students and families. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your promotion to high school. I know the last quarter of middle school did not end the way you wanted or expected. We missed out on celebrating all of your accomplishments, but that does not mean that we are any less proud of you for reaching this point in your academic career. You have a bright future ahead of you if you choose to embrace all the opportunities that are presented to you. If this time has taught us anything, it is to focus your energy on those people in your lives who are the most important to you. Thank them for the role they play and never take them for granted. They will always be your biggest supporters. I would like to leave you with this thought. You have the freedom to define who you are. Find your passion. You will fail, but don't give up. Life is hard work. There is no easy out. Be responsible and respectful of this world. But most importantly, always believe in yourselves. Congratulations, Buccaneers. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave and now for the honors portion of our program we have got all of our honor roll recipients for the entire 2019 and 2020 school year. Listen for your name. So we have Kinsley Abbott, Carissa Amoroso, Keegan Arbogast, Angelica Bastida, Madeline Beasley, Jaden Beeman, Damian Beninati, Taylor Bicknell, Christina Burmeister, Robert Butler, Gabriella Casabella, Hannah Sesford, Kylie Collins, Riley Cox, Danny Dan, Ryan Doan, Diana Espinal, and Ali Finigula. And now I would like to bring up Ms. Kledzik for our next group of honor roll students. Alessandra Gomez Hernandez, Rowan Graziano, Ethan Paluski, Chloe Holtzclaw, Victoria Jones, Jason LaGreco, Violet Landers, Catherine Loggett, Kendra Lee Lopez, Ashley Mai Zongwa, Griffin McLean, Sarah Medina, Alyssa Miller, Jason Morawski. Simone Osborne, Lizette Primero Hernandez, Cohen Reich, Jamari Rivera, Meadow Rodriguez, Morgan Russell, Jade Russell, Nadia Santiago, Elizabeth Schwab, Stephen Smith Jr., Elam Suarez, Valerie Tate, Tiana Taylor, Ryan Taylor, Aiden Thompson, Evan Tostado, Taryn Treadway, Trinity Benkis, Caden Vincent, Kayla White, Tyler Woodland, Ramiah Woodson, Noah Younger, and straight A's all year, Courtney Grada, Emily Lacaria, Cameron McCabe, Jaden McDaniel, 
Austin Knopf, and Eva Smithers. Great job, Buccaneers. Each year we recognize male and female students from some of our big areas at the school, our thespians, our musicians, yada yada. This year we are proud to present a special award to one young man who has made leaps and bounds since sixth grade to be an awesome student. And his name is Prince Ferguson. And Prince, you are being recognized as Golf Middle School's Turnaround Student of the Year. I know we came by your house already and that was awesome, but you will also be receiving one of these, as will every student recognized in this category of awards. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Donahue, the Athletic Director here at GMS. I am going to present to you the Male and Female Scholar Athletes for the 2019-2020 school year. First, let me say that I adore this young lady for the female scholar athlete. She has not only participated in multiple sports, she has maintained a 3.9 GPA through the first three quarters of the school year. She's always willing to lend a hand. Um, she's proven her character time and time again, even when it's not easy or cool to do. Um, she always makes the right choice. <clears throat> she may be small, but she is tough. Our female scholar athlete for this year is Gabriella Casabella. For the male uh, student athlete this year, uh, he's a young man that sets a great example all around campus about what a student athlete should be. Um, anywhere you see him, he's willing to lend a hand, he offers help, he is just always there. Um, he sets a great example for his peers as well as other athletes on campus. He's participated in multiple sports this year as well as maintaining a 3.5 GPA for the first three quarters. Um, he's an amazing kid. I'm really going to miss seeing him around next year. Can't miss him in the halls. Our male scholar athlete for this year is Ethan Haluski. Congratulations, guys. Our top thespian male has been in theater for three years. He came in first period uh, in his sixth grade year, a little guy, and he got a small part in Sound of Music, but you know, he owned the stage even then. In, in uh, his sixth, uh, seventh grade year, he uh, decided to uh, up it a little bit. He got the lead in a show called High School Musical, which you all probably remember. And then this last year, he owned the stage as Benny. He owned it at Thespians. He did an incredible job. I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Our Thespian of the Year, our Actor of the Year, goes to Jay Woodson. Our actress started in theater in sixth grade. Uh, she had a small part in Sound of Music, and then she kind of upped her game in her seventh grade year. She got the lead in competition piece. She got one of the leads as the teacher in High School Musical, and she was an amazing abuela in, in, um, in the Heights, which we'll never forget. That was your last musical here, but you know what? It's one we'll remember forever. And our Actress of the Year, our Thespian of the Year, goes to Jaden McDaniel. Hello Buccaneers, this is Miss West. I'm here to announce the 2020 Scholar Dancer Awards. My first award goes to a young man who is funny, fun, super talented, and kind. We, I have enjoyed having him in class for the past three years and getting to know him. He's a very special young man and whether he's dancing, helping others, or flipping around the room, he will impress you with who he is on the inside and who he is on the outside. My 2020 Male Scholar Dancer of the Year is Ramaya Woodson. Congratulations, Ramaya. The second person winning the 2020 Scholar Dancer Award is a young lady I've also had in class for three years, and it has been a pleasure to get to know her. She is kind, compassionate, and she strives for perfection. She was a leader on our Rhythmic Gymnastics Special Olympics team, and she taught me so much through her experiences. I also love watching her dance. I can feel her emotion in the audience. She dances with her heart and soul, not just with her body. She is an exemplary member of the dance team, and even when she was in sixth grade in my regular class, she was a leader. 
and her name is perfect for a dancer because she is perfectly graceful. So congratulations, Grace Medina, on being the 2020 Female Scholar Dancer of the Year. Congratulations, Grace. Hey there, Buccaneers, it's Mr. McGowan here. I'm gonna be giving out two awards right now for scholar musician for band. Uh, I'm gonna be giving out the first award to a female student. Um, she's been in band for three years. She's been in symphonic band, which is the top band for two years. She's our first chair flute player. She's an extremely good student, very academically minded, receives good grades, always a very positive person. It's a, uh, she's making jokes and she's always a joy to have in class. Um, she is very talented at the flute. She's participated in solo and ensemble, receiving superiors on her solos, and she did a duet with another student and received a superior on it. I'm extremely proud of her and all of her accomplishments in middle school. Hannah Sesford. Congratulations, Hannah. Up next, we're going to be giving out an award to uh, a male student for, uh, for Scholar Musician Band. This student happens to also be a flute player and a clarinet player and a percussion player. He was has been switched around because he's very talented at anything he does. He started off on the flute, uh, showing, you know, he's, he was one of the star uh, sixth graders when he started on the flute, you know, rising above. He was in symphonic band last year on flute, and this year he was switched to percussion because he's also very uh, talented at percussion. He's a part of Drumline. He's been a part of Drumline for two years. He also ha was a part of jazz band this year. He um, is involved playing the drum set in other groups um, around Tampa Bay. Extremely excited to see where he goes with music. I know music's going to be in his future. Keegan Arbogast. I'm going to be giving out our awards for our choral students for scholar musician, one to a male student and one to a female student. Our first recipient has been a student who I've had in band, and this is her first year in chorus. Um, she is a very talented musician. She goes above and beyond whenever she performs something or puts her, her mind to something. She puts her full effort into what she's doing. She's a very talented singer, has a beautiful voice. She has sung this year. Uh, in our choir. She's also sung in her church choir and performed solos in front of her entire church. She continues to impress me and she needs to be recognized and I'm very proud of her. Uh, Madeline Beasley. Congratulations. Our second award for cor choral student scholar musician will go to a male recipient. This student we've had at Gulf Middle School for two years. He was here last year as a seventh grader, and obviously he, he was here this year for as an eighth grader. He is a very talented musician and singer. He sang solos in our concerts. He sings solos in class, and he's not afraid to put himself out there and showcase his talent. Um, very happy with what he's been able to accomplish, and I can't wait to see where uh, he goes with music in his future. This award goes to Nathan F Allie, congratulations on being chosen Abbott's most outstanding female student. Your hard work and commitment to Abbott has made you the person you are today. Continue your journey knowing that you have and been and will continue to be an inspiration to those you meet. Remain the kind, compassionate person you are and you will be successful. Best of luck in school and beyond. Aiden, congratulations on being chosen Abbott's most outstanding male student. You've worked hard and your commitment to Abbott has made you the person you are today. Continue to be your best self by being a good friend, a good student, and a good leader. Believe in yourself and others will believe in you as well. Continued success in high school and beyond. student has come a long way both academically and socially. She is also an excellent athlete who has participated in Unified Special Olympics at the county, area, and state levels in rhythmic gymnastics, bowling, basketball, soccer, and track. She was also selected to be a torch runner at the Pasco County Summer Games. I am pleased to present the Scholar ACP Student Award to Kendra Lee Lopez. 
I have had the privilege of working with this young man over the past three years. He has come so far and grown academically, socially, and in maturity. He is often a leader in class, enthusiastic about learning, and strives to do well. He also has one of the greatest sense of humor. I am proud to present the Scholar ACP Student Award to Joel Morley. For our male tech student of the year, this young man walked into my classroom last year, super quiet with an excited energy because he was finally going to get to do technology and engineering. Over the last two years, I've watched him tackle every challenge and rise so much further than I could have hoped. I've often joked that he could teach my classes and my students might learn more. Congratulations, Jason LaGreco. For my female tech student of the year, I've watched her bloom into a young lady who is both eloquent and kind. It's been said many times that you can count on her to help any student. And no matter what I gave to her, she accepted the challenge with a smile and persevered. Congratulations, Samantha Polino. Hi, Buccaneers. This is Jaden McDaniel, the president of the National Junior Honor Society here at Gulf Middle School. I'm here with a quick message today to say congratulations for promoting to high school. I know this time has proven to be quite difficult, but I wanted to encourage you to keep going. Keep staying safe and healthy and keep those around you healthy as well. I remember three years ago when we were going into middle school and we thought, oh my goodness, I do not know what to expect and we were all super nervous and now look at us, we're going into high school. I wanted to thank you all for making these past three years an enjoyable experience. I wanted to encourage you to continue being a problem solver and continue to be respectful and responsible. Keep achieving your goals because there are so many more to achieve. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2024 for promoting to high school. Have a fantastic day. It always seems impossible until it is done. A famous quote by Nelson Mandela. You've made it, think about it. You've made it through elementary school, you've made it through middle school, and now you're well on your way to high school. Make your journey fun, make your journey memorable, but most importantly, make your journey your own. Best of luck in high school and beyond. GMS eighth graders, hello from Mr. Santos. Uh, just wishing you all well, hoping you have a great summer. A uh, great time in high school. You know that you can always come back and visit and say hello. I know these are, you know, strange times, difficult times, but I also know you guys are fully capable of getting through them and, you know, shining as bright as ever. So keep it up. We love you all very much. Be well. Hello, class of 2024. Congratulations. You finished middle school and are on your way to being high school freshmen. And you did it all in this last quarter under quarantine and distance learning. If you can do that, you can accomplish anything in this world. Congratulations, and I hope to see you soon. All right, Hoolies, you did it. So proud of you. You made it through these crazy corona times, and now you're headed towards new adventures come your way. All right, best in all you do. Love you guys. Take care. Mwah. Hey, eighth graders, you did it. It's been a crazy year, but you made it through. Congratulations, best of luck in high school. Come back and visit and tell me how much fun high school is. And I'll miss you, well, most of you. Hello, eighth grade, this is Mr. Stanley. I uh, just want to say good luck and congratulations on being promoted to high school. I'm uh, very happy, of course, the whole staff is very excited for you. and. Wish, want to wish you the very best as you go on to high school. Um, right now I'm working on my poster for next week when I come out and uh, we wish you guys well on the, uh, or on the bus loop. We will hold up our posters and cheer for you. Looking forward to that next week. Um, just Again, I want to just say congratulations, good luck, and don't be a stranger. Bye. Hey, 8th graders, congratulations on your promotion to high school. You guys worked really hard. You earned it. You deserve it. Um, good luck in high school and in your future, and come visit us. We're only down the block. Congratulations, 8th graders. I'm very proud of you, and I miss you a lot.
Good luck in high school. It's Miss Lemker. I have missed you guys so much this last quarter, and now I'm going to keep on missing you because it's time for you to go to high school. And I'm so excited to see what great things you do there. Just please be continuing to stay safe and healthy and make good choices. And all the best, all my love. Bye. I just want to congratulate you all for getting promoted onto high school. I'm very proud of you all. Thank you for making my first year at GMS so special. I will never forget you guys. I hope you don't forget us and you could come and visit. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. And this is just one step closer to your future. Love you all. And I miss you all very much. Bye. Hey, all you eighth grade Buccaneers. Miss Knapp here just wanting to congratulate the class of 2024. You did it. Be proud. I am of all of you. Stay strong, positive, work hard, and dream big. Don't forget to come visit me. I love you all. Congratulations. Congratulations, eighth graders, on your promotion to high school. Future class of 2024. As a reminder to my students, you are the generation that will take care of us in the future. So always strive to do your very best. Miss and love you. Miss Hi, Sarah. guys. This is Mrs. Rader. I just wanted to wish you the best of luck in high school, let you know that we're thinking of you. Uh, during this crazy time and if you ever need anything your teachers at golf middle will always be there for you all right you guys stay safe take care bye wow i can't believe how three years has gone by so quickly we do have something in common though when you entered golf middle school it was the same year that i entered golf middle school and my very first year teaching math at a middle school level so your class is very special to me because you taught me so much in that first year when I came on board as a Buccaneer. And so now I am proud to say that I am going to miss each and every one of you. I've gotten to see you grow, not only mathematically over your years here, but I've also seen you grow in height, I've seen you grow socially, and I've also seen several of you become stars in many of our athletics that we have on campus. And so I'm just gonna wish you the best of luck in high school and I sure hope that you come back and visit us and give us a hug, say hello, and let us know what your future plans are. You'll always be a Buccaneer. Bye. Hey, it's Mr. McGowan. What's up eighth graders, how's it going? I hope everyone's doing well. Congratulations for making it this far. You've made it to high school. I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Um, keep being awesome. See you guys. Bye. Hi, guys. I believe the reason why you're moving for high school is because you work really, really, really hard. Just remember, always believe in yourself and wishing the best of the best in your new adventure. Take care. We missed you. Congratulations, Bye. class of 2024. You did it. Despite all the challenges and hurdles that you've had to overcome this year, you've successfully promoted to high school. I couldn't be more proud of you. There are so many things that I could share with you at this time, but most important is this. Take advantage of every opportunity high school offers you. Every club, every extracurricular, every event. You never know where you're gonna find your passion. So try it once, try it twice, and if you hate it, don't go back, but at least try it. Because the fact is, those passions often become the hobbies and the things that you will enjoy for the rest of your life. I'm proud of you. And I hope that you find something that you love as much as I've loved teaching you. Good luck and best wishes. Hi, this is Mrs. Perez. Congratulations, Sake Bears. I'm super proud of you guys. 
a great job. And I know very sure that in high school, you guys are going to be super successful. Just work hard and always have the GMS share values. Be respectful, be responsible, and be problem solver. I send you a hair hug and great job. See ya. Congratulations, class of 2024. We are so proud of you. I know this year was somewhat of a roller coaster, but we knew that you could do it. So congratulations, and everything that you do, you will have success. The best is yet to come. Hey guys, it's Miss MacDougall. I wanted to go ahead and congratulate you guys. You are awesome. I am so proud of you. You're gonna do great things. So good luck in high school and stay in touch. Hi, all you eighth graders out there. Mrs. Cram here with Bookkeeper. I just wanted to say best wishes going into high school. Know that you can accomplish anything. So put your mind to a goal and go for it. I wish you a very successful and happy life. Take care. Congratulations, eighth graders. You guys did it. I'm so proud of you. Gonna miss everyone. Good luck in high school. Eighth graders, it's Mr. Nason here. I love you guys so much. Uh, we've missed you so much. This has been an incredible year, an incredible three years. All of my eighth graders, you know who you are. You made this an incredible experience here at Gulf Middle School. I'm gonna miss you as you move on, but you know what? There's no such thing as a former student. You will always be my students. I'll see you around. Thank you all. Have an amazing summer. Congratulations, class of 2024. Woo!